Let's try to this work. Fractions, decimal, decimal, right, indices, and logarithm. And logarithm. Right, this fractions, decimal, indices, and logarithm. That's the next three topics we'll pick together. Can somebody raise his hand if you know what is called board mass? Tamilore. God bless you. Bracket of division, Abby. Division. Yes. Yeah. That's the double F anyway. This word, multiplication. Multiplication. Addition. God bless you. What's A? Addition. And subtraction. And S means subtraction. Subtraction. Now, this is board mass. Board mass is trying to tell you that what? The first thing you do in a, in a, in a question is to remove the bracket. And it's saying that what? The last thing you should ever do in a mixture of fraction is to do what? Is to subtract. This is the last thing you should do. Subtraction. The last thing you ever do in mixture of fractions is to do what? Is to subtract. You don't, you don't subtract at any level unless you get to the last level. Addition will be done before you do subtraction. Multiplication will be done before you do addition. Division has been done already before you do multiplication. Bracket has been off before you do any other thing. This can be called degree also. Off can be called degree. Okay, but it just means you do what remove the bracket. Now let's see example using this board mass. Remember in your exam number one, number one question is always centered on topic or section A of the syllabus. One and two, because you see a sequence here. One and two are majorly picked from the first section of the syllabus. So you cannot ignore. Fractions and decimal, let alone in synonym. So let's pay attention. Let's see example and apply this. Example to apply this. Take this one down. Right. Right. Simplify without using tables or calculator. Simplify without using tables or calculator. Right. Now one. Three O number one over three. Divided by one o number one over four minus four over nine. Do not commonize anything. Don't commonize anything. The first session of a syllabus is like ten questions or eight questions in your OBJ. Section A, B, C, D, E is your syllabus. We are on section A. Like 10 or 8 questions in your exam. Tell me any way you have seen in your life and you must see God mass. Tell me. You will see in theory, you will see in OBJ. Let's see. I want everybody to apply this God mass. Solve this thing and give me your answer. Yeah, see. I want everybody to apply this God mass. Solve this thing and give the answer. Yeah, I'm waiting. Look at the board. It's a mixed fraction. We know how to convert mixed fraction. That'll be 3 times 3, 9 plus 1, 10. That'll be 10 over 3. That's 10 over 3. Divided by this 1 whole number, 1 over 4. Convert it. That's 4 times 1, 4. 
plus 1, 5. That's 5 over 4. Minus 4 over 9. Let's go. So I've converted the missed fraction to improper fraction. That's what 3 times 3, 1 plus 9 plus 1, 10 by 3. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, power 4. Minus this. So we now have what? Tell me. In the order of board mass, I want to respond, everybody. In the order of board mass, who do I do first? Do I divide first or I subtract first? Divide. I divide first. Board mass says, board mass says, I should divide before I subtract. So according to board mass, I will first divide. I will first deal with this two. I mean, huh? Division must come before subtraction. So let's go. We now have what? 10 over 3 times 5 over 4. That's what? This for division. For division. For division will become multiplication. You change this. That's 4 over 5. You can see. Division has come to multiplication. This is now what? 4 over 5. Then minus 4 over 9. Don't forget, I have to do what? I have to divide first. I'm trying to divide first. You can see. So 5 here 1, 5 here 2. That's what? 8 all over 3 minus 4 all over 9. Now I've divided this by this. To divide, I have to turn this to times. When you turn this to times, here goes up, here comes down. Are we now? Good. So what do you have now? What do you have CM here? 9. 3 in 9, 3 times 8, 24. 9 in 9, 1 times 4, 4. That's what? 20 over 9. If you leave answer this way, you will be so penalized in YEG. You are wrong. Because nobody leaves answer as an improper fraction. Instead of that, leave it as what? Missed fraction. That's what? Do we 2 whole number? 2 all over 9. That's what? 9 in 22. Remember, 2 over 9. I know you all, you all get that. I know you all get that. Number 2 question, please write. Number 2 question, right? Number 2, right? Number 2. Number 2. 1 over 2 of 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 3 all over 1 over 6 minus 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2 that's the next one there you have been asked to simplify this simplify you have been asked to simplify this. Please write number two. Simplify this guy. One over two of one over four divided by one over three. All over one over six minus three over four plus one over two. The first, I only have like two, just two more after this. Just two more after this. How do you solve this? I will do it like this. Numerator. Watch. I will first do numerator. Because if I don't do it one by one, it will become clumsy. So I will first do numerator. I will get the answer. So see what I do? Numerator. It says 1 over 2 of 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 3. I want to first do the numerator. Which of of and division will you do first? I want a response from you. Of first. God bless you. I will do of first. Thank you. That's what? 1 over 2 times 1 over 4. That's that. Divided by 1 over 3. And that's what? 1 over 8. Divided by 1 over 3. I've done the off. Yes, thank you. 
the off has been done. Off means times. Off means times. Half of one over four means half times one over four. So let's go. I've got it. One times one, one. Two times two, eight. Divided by one over three. Divided by one over three. So we now have what? One over eight. When this division becomes times, what happens? You have three going up, one coming down. So three goes up, one comes down. We have three over eight. Three over eight. That is the word numerator. I've done the numerator. Let me do the denominator. Denominator. And then this denominator. This is denominator. This one. This one. So let's go. We have 1 over 6 minus 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2. This one does not follow at all. Oh yeah, let's see this one. Minus and plus. What do you do first? Though in this case, it doesn't follow. This doesn't really follow. See, this doesn't really follow. You can just rearrange and find your LCF. This doesn't follow. Plus will go first. Plus will go first, but when you say plus will go first, you still have to open bracket like this. See, if you only go for that if it's like this. 1 over 6 minus bracket 3 over 4 minus 1 over 2. When there's a bracket, that's when you can consider who should go first. In this case, if we say plus should go first, what will you take this as? Is it 3 over 4 or minus 3 over 4? It's still 1, minus 3 over 4. And you will take this as. So does it follow in this case? Just find the LCM of everybody. Find the LCM. What is the LCM here? That will be 12. Just watch what I said. In this case, it doesn't follow. Because if you are taking 3 over 4, the minus must follow it. If you are taking 1 over 2, the plus must follow it. If you are taking 1 over 6, the plus 1 over 6 must follow it. So it doesn't follow it at all. Just find the LCM. What is the LCM of this? 12. 6 in 12. That's 2. 4 in 12. That's 3. Times 3, 9. Plus 2 in 12. That's 6. Times 1. 6. So let's go. Look at the board. It's just like here also saying who should be who should what should you do first? Should you add force or subtract force? If you are adding force, your 9 is still taken as minus 9 and not 9. It's still minus 9 plus 6. You can't say 9 plus 6 because there's no bracket for this thing. There's no bracket. Please note it. So let's go. 2 minus 9 is minus 7. Minus 7 plus 6 is minus 1 all over 12. If you want to add 4, you will say minus 9 plus 6, that's minus 3. You cannot say 9 plus 6 because there's no bracket here. Always watch that. This is a trick for students. It's a trick. Act before subtracting. Very correct. But what are you adding? You are not adding 3 over 4 to 1 over 2. No. You are adding minus 3 over 4 to plus 1 over 2. That's the trick. So to avoid this kind of trick, when there is no bracket, if it's plus and minus, there is no bracket. Plus, minus, there is no bracket. Just find the LCM. Just find the LCM. And keep going. So, we are watching now. I have done numerator. I got 3 over 8. I've done denominator. I've done denominator, which is minus 1 over 12. So the answer to the question, our answer will be, answer will be numerator, numerator over denominator. Numerator over denominator. Numerator is What's on top here? This is called numerator. And I got 3 over 8. 3 over 8. This thing means divide. 
denominator these needs. I got minus 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2. That's what? You have numerator 3 over 8. I got denominator minus 1 over 2. What will I do now? Okay, I shall skip that one. That will be 3 over 8. Division turns to times. This 2 goes up. Minus 1 comes down. Have you now? 2 as you can see. This is 3 over 8 divided by minus 1 over 2. Here we turn to what? Times. Times. And that will be what? Minus 1 will come down. 2 will go up. Have you now? Am I complicating class? Am I complicating? Yes, of course. Times minus okay, so one. Times minus it's one. minus one over twelve. Yes, that's 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 right. Minus one over twelve. So let's go. Oh, yeah, tell me, what do we do next? No, we caught. Are we now? So yes. two, four year two, four year three. That's what nine over. That's three times three nine. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And that will be what? Final answer will be what? Minus 9 over 2. Or you say what? Minus 4 over 1 over 2. Minus 4 over 1 over 2. Thank you. One more question on this. One more question on this. I went into my speech. This time is 4 over 1 over 2. I don't understand. Okay, which part? Down. Let's take this decimal. Just two more. Let me do two more questions. Okay. Now, guys, look at this. Right. Without using right this. Without using mathematical tables or calculators. Without using mathematical tables or calculators. Evaluate. Evaluate 0 0.09 times 1.21. All over 3.3 times 0 0.00025. Sorry. Now, you are given this and it told you to leave your answer in standard form or scientific notation. They can either say, leave your answer in standard form, or they will say, leave your answer in scientific notation. These are two ways they can ask you to do it. Leave your answer in standard form. It is the same as saying, leave your answer in scientific what? notation. So that means that what? We will convert all these things to scientific notation. Or standard form. Let me ask you if I give you 205, you want to take this thing to standard form? If I want to take this thing to standard form, is it, are you following now? If you have to take this thing to standard form, because it does not start with zero, it's a number. We will say one, two. That becomes two point oh five times ten raised to the power two. I move this way. Watch. I move what? I move one, two to the first number. That's two. If you have zero point zero zero two five like this, 
if you are asked to take this to standard form, you are taking the decimal to the first number. Here also was taken to the first number. This is the first number here. So in this case, we come what? One, two, three. Because I moved like this, it becomes 2.5 times 10 raised power. How many times did I move? One, two, three. Because I moved three times and I moved like this. Because I moved like this, it's minus. Because it's three times, it's minus three. Because I moved like this, it's plus. I moved twice, it's plus two. Standard form. So the same thing will be done to this. Do I can also move this away. I can move away like this. Like this. And say 25 times 10 is 5. That means I move like this to here. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what? 4 times. That minus 4. I can move it and cover the whole number without leaving any number. So this is now 25. Just like I would do here now. Watch. I will say. One, two. I moved like this to that bit number. That be what? Nine times ten is power what? Minus two. Minus because I moved this way to that bit that guy. Minus two because it's twice. Times here also. I will say this decimal move one two. It becomes one twenty one. And because I move this way, I move this way. I will say what times minus two. All over here, also I will move one. I've moved this decimal away, so it's now what 33. And I moved this way, that's times what minus one. I moved once here, also I will say what one, two, three, four, five. I'll be left with what 25 times 10 is for minus five because I moved one, two, three, four, five, five times. So the next thing I will do here is to say, watch you, watch you. I will say 9, watch you, just watch 9 times 121, just watch 9, 121 over 33, just watch 33 times 25. Can you see now? I pack all numbers together. See me, see me. I pack all the numbers together. 9, 121, 33, 25. I pack all numbers together and I'm leaving behind all the exponentials. So this is now what? Let's watch. Times 10 raised power minus 2. This is minus 2. This is minus 2. So you put there also minus 2. Here also times gold. So you have what? Minus 1. Then this is also what? Minus 5. Law of indices. Law of indices. Yes. What did you say? Okay, the board, the board is clear. The board is clear, the network is not good. Get a good, get a good network. Get a good network next class. The board is very clear for those whose networks are very good. So, just relax against next class. So this what? This minus, this what? 10. This 10. Because they are both 10, 10. Minus 2, minus 2. That be what? You print them together. Yes, so 10, 10. Minus 1, minus 5. You bring them together. If they are plus, call them plus, plus. If they are minus, call them minus, minus. You can see. So what you do next? You have 9 times 1, 2, 1, all over 33 times 25 times 10 raised power minus 4 over 10 raised power minus 6. How? You can see, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 because I brought these two together. Minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6. You can see it there. Let's not try and cut. Let's try and cut. It is incortable. 3 here. 3. 
three year, eleven. Eleven year, one. Eleven year, eleven. Nothing can go again. That's not what. Three times eleven. Thirty-three. I mean, all over twenty-five. Is that okay now? Times ten raised power. This is what? You have minus four. This is minus four up here. This is minus six down here. When minus six goes up, when this minus six goes up, it becomes what? Plus six. It becomes plus six. So we have what? 33 over 25 times 10 raised to power 2. Who can tell me? What is 33 over 25? Eh? You see now? Eh, you see now? You have already what? Disobeyed. You have disobeyed the rule of the question. You have disobeyed the rule of the question. What did the question say you should not do? Don't use calculator. Don't use calculator. So what do you do? You continue. 33 over 25 times what's 10 is for 2? 100. 25 year 1. 25 year 4. They want tell to catch you here. That was what it made you to get this thing. Because naturally, you go ahead and press calculator. You get one point. Because even if you do it, if you do it offhand, you do it offhand and you put one point, you are still wrong. Because it's a warning, calculator is not allowed. How would I have known that you did this offhand? How would I have known? So this is now what? 33 times 4. And that's what? 132. 132. 33 times 4 is 132. If you had said 33 over 25, you get 1.3, you will see that your answer will, be, will not be exactly 32. It will be exactly 132. It will be point something. So, you don't be tempted here. Watch. If you get tempted here to press calculator or do it offhand, you are going to lose the whole mark. In the question, because if you disobey a rule of the question, it's as good as missing that question. The rule says what? Without using calculator, nor mathematical word table, find this answer. So you, you got one, three, two. You are also you have been asked also to leave your answer in standard form. For this question is five marks. You no no four marks. This is for marks. No, I'm not very really, I'm not very really sure. But it's not two marks. I think it's four marks or three marks. This question. Because this is where everybody will miss it. They just say this over this, they will press 1.32 times 10 is power 2. And you are wrong. And that's where you see what arrive. You were told to leave your answer in what? In standard form, Mola. Well, see the board. You got one, three, two. One, three, two is the same as in what? One, two. That's one point three two times ten is power two. See how I got my one point three two times ten is power two. I should have done this from here. I mean, now, but if we do it from here. You have pressed calculator here. Yes. If you do this from a low, pay attention. Because this is where students lose marks in WAEC. All questions are compulsory here. And none is not important. Everything is what's important. So, look at the trick. The trick is not the question it says. The trick starts from here. The trick is from here. Where you'll be forced to use calculator and get 1.32. If you do that, you'll be wrong. 
you will be wrong. You will be at the, at the what? At the mercy of the examiner to give you a one out of three or zero point five out of three, or they even give you zero because you have disobeyed the rule. Let's calculate here and say thirty three over twenty five. If from this place, watch this. Hello, watch your question. If from this place, this place here like this. If you press calculator here, you now get 1.32 times 10 raised power 2, like this. That is from here, you press this one, it gave you this. You now put this one there. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are very, very wrong. Because you have just disobeyed the rule that says without using calculator. The examiner does not want to know if it's your head you use in guessing this to become this. He doesn't want to know. But as far as what? 33 over 25 times 100 can give us this 4. 4. That shows that what? You did this thing with that calculator. I first got 1, 3, that's 33 times 4. 1, 3, 2. And I converted to standard form. Even if I stop here, I can be pardoned. I can be pardoned. But this is where you must stop. But you don't jump from ear to ear. If you jump from ear to ear, you are wrong. That's why students fail mathematics. They forget the rules. They forget the rule in the question. Take this one down first. Take this one down. Without using tables, right? Without using tables or calculator, number two, right? Without using tables. Or calculator without using tables or calculator. Tables means tables means what your four figure table. Table means your four figure table. You know what calculator means. So right without using tables or calculator, comma simplify simplify. Simplify 0 0.6 times 32 times 0 0.004 all over 1.2 times 0 0.008 times 0 0.16. Leaving the answer in scientific notation. This will be where we look up 6 times 10 raised power minus 1. This is 32. This is 1, 2, 3. This is 4 times minus 3. All over this was 1. This is 12 times minus 1. This is 1, 2, 3. No worry, no worry, no worry. Just hold on. This was 8 times minus 3. This 1, 2. This 16 times minus 2. So what do we do? Pack all the numbers together. 6 times 32 times 4. All over 12 times 8 times 16. Then times... 10 raised power minus 1 and minus 3 of the over 10 raised power minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 as the power so this one let's go let's go let's go let's go 16 year 1 16 year 2 and cutting 4 year 1 4 year 2 I'm cutting 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 6 year 1, 6 year 2. I've cut everything. So this is now what? 1 over 2 times 10 raised power mi minus 1 minus 3 is what? Minus 4. Over 10 raised power minus 1 minus 3 minus 2. That's what? Minus 6. That's minus 6. So what do you do? 
This is now 1 over 2 times 10 raised power minus 4. This goes up. It goes up. It becomes plus. When minus goes up, it becomes plus. When plus goes up, it becomes minus. So this is minus 6. When it goes to be this one, it becomes plus. Even if minus 4 comes down, it becomes plus 4. Whoever is going away, sign must change. If this must go up, it becomes plus. If it's minus, it becomes plus. If it's plus, it becomes minus. So you now I have 1 over 2 times 10 raised power 2. Now, again, this is another test for you. It's another test for you. Oh, you are following the test. Look at the board. Look at the board. Everybody in this life, even a KG student, knows that 1 over 2 is the same as 0 0.5. Oh, not doing it. Because 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. There are some people also that don't even know that now. 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. They will have to carry calculator and press it. 1 over 2, 0 0.5. You must not show any sign of calculator usage here also. You must not show it. It's not allowed. You can say that what? The trick is always there. The trick is always there. Because virtually everybody can do what you have done here. Do what you have done here. But most people, 99.9% .9 were ex students with press calculator here. 99.9% uh, today we press calculator here if they don't know it. You are not meant to press calculator. Can someone tell me what we are meant to do? What are we meant to do? What? I'm asking you a question. What are we meant to do from here? No. That's what? 1 over 2 times... Times what? Times 100. That's 2 year 1, 2 year 15. That's 50. Answer is 50. I've not used any calculator. Even though I do that word. This is 0 0.5 times 100. That's what? 50. I do not say 0 0.5 because 0 0.5... I may not even know that 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. I may have to press calculator to get that. So this is what? 50. You now say what? 5 times 10 is power 1. Answer is what? 5 times 10 is power what? 1. Don't fall victim. Don't fall victim of all these stages. You should be asking yourself, why are we always falling into things like this second time and second time why are we always falling to it like this don't fall victim of using word calculator it's not the same answer you'll be so wrong right indices and logarithm we'll just do introduction the laws then we start examples in the next class let's write this indices And logarithm. Okay, let's write indices. Indices. We'll be doing the loss. Right, loss of indices. Loss of indices. Loss of indices. So, who can tell me? Look at the board. Is everybody? Look at the board. I will give you the loss of indices and logarithm. Are you following me? In the next class, we will come and apply them to questions. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So, in the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes will be done with this class today. 10, 15 minutes will be done. Law of indices. Yes, if you have x raised power n, 
times x raised to the power n. What do you do, anybody? What do you do for the law of indices? What do we do? Okay. In, in this case, watch. What you observe here, what you observe is that what? These bases are the same. It's x and x. Just pick one. Just pick one. And add the power on them. That's P there. Just pick one and add the power on them. Just pick one and add the powers on them. If the base are the same. That's first law. What if you have x raised to power n times y raised to power what? m? You have s raised to power m times y raised to power what? Or let's do this before. Let's say n n. They are both n n. If they are both n n, in this case, the bases are different, but the powers are the same. Watch your bases. The bases are different. The powers are the same. What do you do? You will say you will pick the common power in this case. Here you pick the common base. Here you will pick the common word power and, and say x, y. x, y. Now, let's see the next one. Just watch you. There are two cases of multiplication here. There are two cases. When the bases are the same and when the bases are different. When the bases are the same, pick one base and add their powers. When the bases are different, pick the power and multiply their bases. That's it. Division. If you have x raised power what? If you have x raised power n divided by x raised power n. Here also, the bases are the same. The bases are the same. You pick one of the bases. You pick one and subtract the power. You subtract the power. N minus N. What if what if the bases are the bases are different? See the word. The bases are different. See the bases. X base, Y base here. The bases are different. But the power, the powers are the same. The powers are the same. That was you pick the common power. N is the common power, you know, and divide those bases. Just watch, watch, and stop talking. This x over y. You pick one of the powers. You pick one of the powers. You pick one. Of the powers. Now, what if we have x raised to our m over n? Anybody, what is x raised to our m over n? If you have m over n, m over n, this will become what? You will say x raised to that m. Then nth root. This is nth root. S is power what? M. We'll get to all these things. We'll get to all these things that we are solving. What if you have S raised power what? Minus N. S raised power what? Minus N. When the power on this X is minus what? N. It's minus what? N. What we have? You have this minus, you become 1 all over x plus power n. Yes, this minus became this one. Your question, please. 
Please change your location. It's your network. It's your network. It's a network you can't see you know that. So, who can tell me this? If you have S raised power zero, can can the whole house give me the answer? Are you sure? Are you sure of that? Equals to one. Yes, sir. Equals to one. Okay. Let me see. Let me see who can give me this answer. If you have x raised power log base s a what is the answer oh yeah show yourself show yourself who can show himself or herself if you have x if you have x raised power log base s a S is raised to power what? Log this S A. What's the answer? Is what? It's A. With that, who is talking? Let me hear you. Tell me your name. Someone that said A. Good. That's good. It's A. Ow. This X and this of this X we cancel each other. Answer is what? A. Look at the board. Everybody look at the board. The proof is on is on the streets. We are, we are not here to show ourselves. As soon as we came to show ourselves, we can just start the proof. But the proof is is, is unnecessary. What 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 why you caught? If I say three raised power. Log base 3 5. What's the answer again? What's the answer? What's the answer? 5. Uh -huh. five. If they not ask you why, if they ask you why for this, we are quote this law for them. Is that okay now? Yes. But we will not be answering why for this one. It's not necessary. It's a law. Some laws we don't argue. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's stop that. Let's stop that way on indices. I mean now. Uh, Let's talk that way on indices. Let's put really it through laws of log So when we come to the next class, we just start examples straight. Examples we just start straight. Yeah, right, please. Write everything down and let's write the next one. Laws of log now. Laws of log Let's write loss of log reading. That's where we we'll stop for today. The next class will not solve. This one requires us to solve so many questions. We will solve at least 10, 10 from each. At least 10, 10. That's 20 questions. 10, 10. I prefer to do a video and send to you. 10, 10 on this. Against next class. So let's start law of long reading. We all know the first law of log reading. Log A plus log B is equal to log A B. That's the first law of log reading. And if you notice something, if you notice something, we don't care about the base. The base not care, and I hope we know why. I'm not going to start from the beginning of log The details of it, no, 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 no. This is wire class. Loss straight, and we solve questions. The question will make us know other areas that we have left out. That's law. First law. Second law. But I want to know something. Hello, guys. Not something. Not this thing for life. To help you in solving questions. Before I applied this law, what are you? The secret. Before I applied this law, remember, there is nothing here, there is nothing here, there is nothing here. You must not have anything at the back of those lock. If anything is at the back of those lock, you cannot have a law. It's wrong. 
So before you are allowed to say log A plus log B, then log is common. Log is common, then A times B. You must make sure there's nothing here, there's nothing here, there's nothing here. If I were you, if I were you, I will just watch all that statement and keep it very well. I will hold that statement and keep it. Before this law can be applied, we must be adding anything here, anything here, anything here. The same thing goes with this. Same thing goes with this. Log A minus log B. Take note, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Is it because log is common? Log is common into A over B. A over B. Take note of that. Very, very, very important. Another law says what? If you have n log a of any base, I don't care what the base is. If you have anything here, watch you. If you have anything here, like I said, 2, 2 log 5. 2 log 5. If you have 2 log 5 like this, you can't apply this log. You can't apply this log. Unless you take these two away, the two must first be taken away. So this n will be taken away now. It becomes log a raised power what n. And at the same time, at the same time, you may have log a raised power what n, but you need to get rid of this thing. You want to take this thing back to the back here. When we take it here, yeah, you can also say this can also come back here. As you can take it here, you can bring it back. You have what? N log A. I want to be noting something. I want to be noting something. If I, if I tell you that what? Uh, 2 log X plus log 2 equals to 16. Find X. Watch you. Watch. You can't say log is common here because it is 2 here. Step 1. Take the 2 away. You have log x is by 2 plus log 2 equals 16. And you're not okay, good. Log is now common. Log is now, as in log is common. x squared times 2. x squared times 2 equals 16. <laughs> but with these two here, you can't say log is common. So you must learn to take this away to become this. You must learn to also return this thing back to become this. In case is a need for that. It's very important. You also have what is called log watch you. If you have log A base B, watch you log A base B, we have what is called change of base. Change of base. Log A base B is the same thing as log sorry, the same thing as 1 over log B, I mean A, B. See the word. This is for change of base. Change of base. At times, you may need to change base. You may want to maintain the same base. Let me give you an instance. This is called change of base. Please note it. This is where Waek get their jokers from. You just throw it to you. You not think it's, it's a tough question. It's not tough. It's not tough at all. They'll, tell, they'll say, see, see rubbish. They say, uh, log 3 base X plus log 3 base X equals to 9. Find X. They are playing on your intelligence. They know that what? Some of you don't know the law. This base X, this base 3. But this thing could have been X, X now. X could have, X could have come here and now X, X. What's happening? It could have been 3, 3. I can bring 3 here, 3 can be here, 3, 3. S can be here, 3 can be here, S can be here, S, S. So why are they missing this up like this? Don't mind them. You can say, okay, I want everything to be in base S. You must say what? Log, base S is there. Plus, here becomes 1 over log base S equals to 9. If you want this thing, you want this S to come back here and maintain base S, base S. Base S, this S. Do change of base for anybody. If you want them to be base 3, base 3, change one to the other. I mean 3S. S3. Okay, I want 3S, 3X. 3S here also, 3S here also. I'll bring S here and put 3 here. When I do that, I'll say 1 over. Hold on. That's called change of base. That's called change of base. 
See me and watch, please. Just watch. We will apply all these things in the next class. Very simple to apply. See also similarly. See the word. I give you log log A base B. Instead of changing base this way, you can also say log base 10 A all over log base 10 B. To change base again, you can say if this A B choose any base of your choice and call this one log A over log B. You can say log this over log this, the same base. Log A base B, log A base B, this A, this B. You can say it's log A over log B. As far as you choose the same base, you choose the same base. 10, 10, 5, 5, 2, 2, you are allowed. You are allowed. So you have what? Log A base 10, log B base 10. You have just changed the base of this last person. But most importantly, this is what they use most. Log A base B can be 1 over log B base A. <coughs> just put that in your brain. Put that in your brain. And let me give you this one. This one. How many of you have seen this before? Thank you. Now, let, let's see the board. See the board, please. See the board. Look at this. Watch you. Can somebody tell me what you observe in this question? Anyway, I, you are allowed to talk. Can somebody tell me what you observe in that question? What do you observe? The base has the power. God bless your soul. You are too good. The base has a power. How will the base be carrying power? Is he okay? How will the base be carrying power? How does it? It's carrying a power. So if the base is carrying the power, you can say that power, eh? That power. See the power n. Just say the answer is what? One over n log b base a. You will see the reason why you should apply all these things later. For instance, I give you this one now. I give you log four two. Log four two. Log four two. Log four two. Can someone tell me how to write log four two again? How else can we write log four two again? Anybody? Log four two. Can somebody help me to rewrite log four two? Is that the word? Log two square then two. Are we? Maybe four, four is what? Two square. Am I correct? You have to respond. Yes, sir. This four is two square. Now, this is now. I said, I gave you log two base four. Log two base four. And I said, this four can be two square. I mean, this four can be two square. I mean, Abi, can yes, somebody sir. talk to me? Can somebody answer me? Change your location. Change your location. You can't hear me. You can't see me. It's your end. It's from your end. We can't add that from this side. It's from your end. Can anybody see what I wrote here? So I said 4 is now 2 square. I mean, 4 is now 2 square. Am I correct? Yes. So can I take this 2? Yes. Can I bring this 2 here now? And it becomes 1 over 2 log 2, 2. I mean, the power, can you say yes or no to that? This power is now 1 over 2 here. Yes or no, anybody? Yes, sir. Just yes, as this end, yes, the way this end, yes, the way this end became one over n, this power has become one over two. The God bless yes, us. Sir. So take note of this rule. The last rule. Yes, sir. What is log a base a? What's log a base a? 
Lord A is A is one. One. What's log one? What's log one? Anybody? What's log one? Log one. Zero. May God bless you. May God bless you. Log one to any base. Log one to any base is zero. Log one to any base is zero. On this note, we draw the cutting for today.